Hello, and welcome back to part 13 of Until Dawn. Let's play with Abby and John. Once again, John just soloing it again on this one. Abby already did her first playthrough and has rediscovered Diablo 3, and she's up there killing millions and millions of goblins and other things. So it's just me, and I'm playing the Let's Be a Dick episode. So let's start up right here with checking Chris's bag. bag. Are you? Hello. What do we, have we have a phone, which we're going to snoop on and make Chris mad at us. Snoop! Yes, I did this last time, I realized, which is fine. Uh -huh. I wish you could turn off the tutorials. I mean, it's pretty, you know, obvious at this point. He knows it. If I recall right, we called him a creepy stalker dude because he's a creepy stalker dude. You scared me. Yeah, he should I'm scare you. Are, are you my secretary? Why, I'm yes. Yes, I am. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. I will be honest, I have once in a while picked up somebody's phone and kind of glanced to see who it was, but usually it's just to let them know, hey, by oh, the way, so somebody called you. I found something kind of amazing. Of course, I have an act to try and figure out who's on the other end you. of the phone you anyway. So, it's on. not it's very one. hard to tell. Where? Right around here. I'm gonna blow your mind. I would not trust this guy. Alright, let's see if we can find any glinties. I remember there's one on the wall over here, the wanted poster. Oh, man, look at this. Yeah, I know. It's so uh, weird and exciting. You think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted? Looks like I really need to find all the rest of the clues, and I'm just not sure where they'll be. Kind of irritating. And I don't want to look right? it up either, because I think that's going to be cheating. But, like, I'm really bad at games, so we'll just have to see. I noticed when Abby's, like, full playthrough, when I wasn't here, she got, like, most of the totems the first go-around, which is not surprising. Doing at the base of a ski Why wouldn't there be a shooting range at the base of a ski lodge? Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? The question is, why would there be a gun at the shooting range at the bottom of the ski lodge if nobody's been there? Like, I would expect that thing to explode or something because it hasn't been fired in forever. Alright, let's see how accurate we are with this stupid non-inverted thing. Although I seem to be getting better at it, and I don't know why I need an inverted stick on most of these things. It's weird, because I was never really good at this. I mean, most of my FPS experience is like Unreal on a PC. Which Abby did say that she thought Fallout 4 wow, looked interesting, so maybe I'll actually be able to get Fallout 4. Right. We'll see. I'm a bad. I'm a bad. I haven't spent a lot of time gaming recently, but we'll see what happens with this. With all of you people no, watching, and so, maybe no. liking, and perhaps even subscribing, I'll continue to do more. Tutorial, keep shooting things. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big. That you close. couldn't. Ah, yes, the graphic squirrel death. Uh, we killed the squirrel last time. We're gonna do it again. Because we're being a dick. Oh, butterfly effects. And nasty squirrel. Bullseye! That what is just doing? disturbing. How hey, do oh no, that? that's not Glint. That Chris, is just that a thing is so on. effed up. What? That poor little cut was alive about ten seconds yes, ago. Yes, yes, it was. Oh come on! And you fed it earlier. Rats with bushy tails. I cannot believe you just did that. He's a stalky rapist. Of course he did. Oh my God! That's that! Get it away! <sighs> Jesus, are, are you okay? So as we know from previous then spoilers, spoilers everywhere. Look at all the spoilers. See all the spoilers on your screen? Spoilers. So anyway, um, we found out that of course the mountain really hates when you are a dick to animals. So all kinds of bad stuff happens when you're mean to animals. So that should make this playthrough even more interesting because we're going to choose to be mean to animals. Abby already found out some of the stuff that happens when you're mean to animals, but we will actually capture it, and you'll get to see it. I'd say that this is a bad spoiler, but, you know, not everybody is up to playing these games, not everybody wants to spend 60 bucks on it. I understand that. I mean, we're not going to go through every permutation of everything on here, because I thought about being completionist, but I just can't do it. Still, we'll do the being an ass playthrough, and then I'll do a being the good guy playthrough play through and try to keep them all alive if possible he said that and uh, we'll see where we go from there I don't know he said they found people sleeping in the station one time it's creepy what's wrong with that come on I mean who's gonna be homeless on the top of a mountain why does he have a key see that's a, that's a, something if I don't understand after you oh, real oh look at the look at the snowboards it must be really hard on Josh yeah I 
I don't know how he keeps it all together. I... He doesn't. That's his secret. He's like the Hulk. I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on him. He must be going through so much, and he seems like the kind of guy who's not gonna just ask for help. Yeah, you're right. You should leave now. Yeah. But you won't, cause you're dumb. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. They only bought a mountain. Yeah, yeah, that's not rich at all. You are stupid. Why is there a camera at the bathtub? Oh, he didn't even notice it. <laughs> so this is the foreboding of, hey, by the way, there are cameras everywhere in the lodge. Which, of course, you weren't going to pay attention to that the first playthrough because you didn't know. It's going to take as long as it takes. Big mountain. Hey, look, the cable car's here. Just shut up. Menacing, like sleeping giant. Yes, it is. What? Your pretty poem. The Sleeping Giant of Blackwood Forest. Oh. See, we should write that. I should totally write a poem. The Sleeping Giant of Blackwood Forest. Enter the car. Oh, you're so funny. Just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. What? See, there's no way that thing would just move on its own automatically. There's just... Let's just poke holes in the story right now. There's absolutely no way that somebody would have their own private cable car like this without having somebody running it and maintaining it. It just wouldn't work that way. I still have to wonder, how did they build this place if the only way up there is cable car? I mean, I never understand how they do that with ski lodges. They can't bring trucks up there, so how do they get everything up there? One cable car at a time? Makes no sense. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened. And then Where's the other train. cable? You can't do a cable car with one cable. It doesn't work that you way. Know oh, there, there. No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know All right, each other we're gonna existed. fast forward through most of this but exposition be because we've seen Josh it already. Alright, we're back, and here's Jess, Mike's new girlfriend, just sitting outside the lodge. It must be cold boy, as crap boy, up oh there. New people. Why wouldn't you be sitting inside? I don't understand that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Is there anything out here we need to care about? Nope. And jump scare in 3, 2, 1. There we go. What the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? No. Oh, I have to hit the button. That's right. What happens if I choose not to hit the button? They get locked in there for all eternity? Oh that would be funny. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts or mine. See, that probably would have been different if I'd actually closed the bag. So on the good guy playthrough, we'll see if that happens or not. Yep, see butterfly effect update. There it is. Someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class. Because otherwise you probably wouldn't have this exposition. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. <laughs> oh, what do I want to do here? Being a dick. Uh, let's just explain it. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. So just go Nothing. straight forward and stuff. Cut, actually, M's out, I'm in. Oh. Well, that ended that interaction quickly. So yeah, that's a good way to go. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. Yeah, so that I'm shut him down pretty quick. So I, if I remember last time I was... Coming. I did the other way around. What? Uh, I mean... You know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam? Yeah, okay. <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget it, to just stop and take it all in. Mm hmm. And it'll be the last time you enjoy yeah, seeing that view. Like right where the cable car ends. Ugh, <sighs> you're annoying. I don't think it Nobody likes you, Emily. Pretty. 
I don't know why you're with her. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Other than being the token black guy, which we already established in the last playthrough. And I think it's funny that the token black guy is with the token <laughs> not Caucasian. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, it's very creepy. It's weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not going to feel like a regular party. It is a little weird that this lodge is away from the thing, and okay, Jesus. that actually got me. I totally forget that that happened, and I twitched. You guys. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I didn't twitch too much, though. So, nice yeah. One. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless Don't fun. you remember what happened the last time there was a little harmless fun, you asshole? Let's get into the spirit of things. No. The spirit of things? Seriously? What's wrong yeah, with you? Yeah, it's the first anniversary of your friend's <laughs> disappearing. Like mood, em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Uh, yeah. Threatened. Definitely threatened. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now. This guy is too clean cut. It is. I'm not gonna tell you again. Do we understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. We buds, but yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally <laughs> cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over yeah, here. Yeah, you do that. Peace. I think you got the message. Kinda hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Yeah, which will never work with you because you're a controlling bitch. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah. All the bags. Because uh, you were already carrying them. We already went I through this last time. Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. I don't understand the point of this argument. But I'll be the dick and say no. Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? Yes, yeah, seriously. It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out. It's, it's already I'll just dark. Leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes. You really think that little of yes. me? Yes. That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can. Okay? So basically, this wasn't a butterfly effect. This was just, do you start a fight okay. or not? And we seem to have started a fight. Thank you. I'll see you up there. So we're doing well at making everybody angry at each other. Let's see if we can continue the trend. Oh, there's a status update. I don't know if the status update is just saving or what. Instructions unclear. Aw, oh, it's dark, and you have a crush on Chris. You two should make out. Yay, looking around. I think this is where one of the jump scares is. Whoa, hello. Oh, that's right. These two were talking this to each other. a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big break. Yeah, that doesn't look like they're trying to make out at all. So I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare yeah, you. Yeah, you did. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you. Oh my you. gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're such a manie. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? I mean, it has been a year, it's but you uh, figure that these people would be a little more sensitive about pranking. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's right. Check out the fact that they're getting with each um, other. Sure. Uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. That's right. Last time we didn't do that. So let's see what happens. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, they are making out now. Okay. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. Dude, you should know that she's just kind of a skank. Matt. Well, maybe not a skank, but at least kind of a bitch. And nobody likes her. That's why she's not going out with Mike anymore. Although the fact that they scared their friends to death might have had something to do with it. D 
Dee dee dee. Eh, let's check the book. I don't know what the difference here is. The phone was playing music. I think I looked at the phone last time. Oh, you did uh, not okay. do that. Put your hands where I can see it. So I guess if you have the phone, you drop it. The Which at this point, you you're just leaving it on the what bench. What choice do I, a stubble young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military yeah, guard for yeah, taking yeah. into custody? Let's grab the snowball. Which, for some reason, is sitting on top of there, just That's perfectly well, round and everything. Put it like that. Hey! <laughs> That's right, the love song playing in the background. Oh, Great. You can pay. You know that? Where are you hiding, little... This is so romantic to peg each other in the face with snowballs on the side of a mountain. Oh! Ah. Hey! I wouldn't be surprised if there was some ice in one of those. He has bad aim. Oh yeah, the bird. I think we're gonna have to be an ass to an animal here soon. Come on. Hey, Mike! Yay, more headshots. Yeah, this is so fun and exciting. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. Well, guess what? We're not going to do the right thing around here. Not this time. We're going to hit the bird. Ha ha ha. The mountain screamed. Damn, that was great. Look what you did. I know, Look I what know. you did. Oh, no. poor birdie, poor Squeedy birdie. Stone cold, Jess. I didn't you don't do have to be purpose. a dick about it. I guess you could seriously harm a bird with a snowball, though. That would make sense. Where is he running off to? Oh my God. What, is he still being Michael? a... Oh, wow, really? <laughs> gotcha, it's done. Done city. So did I go down? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My my. So are we I don't, calling it my? I don't understand then? what just You're happened there. Opponent, Miss Jessica, the snowball queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. No, that was more than vaguely dirty, okay. sir. Ma'am. Whatever you're called. Uh, in the contest of this. That's right. The Frozone. Oh, ho, ho. okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna The D. Get? Well, I can think of at least one. And it's in my pants. Yeah. But you'll have to wait. Because it's in my pants. Did you hear that? Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, sounds like... Ah. Oh my God. Maybe I should have missed that quick time event. I really should have missed that quick that time was... event. Really close. The thing was gonna kill us. That would have been better. Yeah, Dang it. I mean, wow. If you hadn't pulled us out All of right, life, I gotta remember toast. to what not do the quick time thing? events that'll save their lives. Yeah. But I feel kind of bad for that. Sorry, guys. But that's okay. We're still going down a different path than we were on before. So this is, it's at least something. But I've got to remember that sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. Oh, hi, Dr. Man. Hello again. Hello. And how are we feeling? Like a psychopath. I believe that in our last session, you were not completely honest. Oh, sure I was. I'm an expert with years of experience. I... Don't think you can mislead me. Why would you get angry with somebody that's a psychopath? I don't understand this. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. I wonder what it is. Now pick up that book. Turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Okay, so I'm going for the most anxious. Let's pick it up. Let's see. Uh, men worry me. Which, I don't know if that makes sense or not. Let's say planes scare me, because I think I did crowds last time. We don't want to be isolationist. Let's say drowning? I don't really know where to go with this one. Like, there's no clear path here. Uh, let's say rats, just for fun. I don't understand the meaning, but okay. Anything? Nothing? Okay, he's nonplussed. 
I must be going the right way. Guns are scary or knives are scary? Let's say guns. Could have said knives, but we'll say guns. And we'll stick with rats. I don't know the significance. He's still not saying anything. I think that's different from last time. And... I said scarecrows before. I'll stick with it. Even though that clown is scary as all get out. That is disgusting. Um, well, it is disgusting. So go with the gore. Oh. Did I startle you? Who would Sorry. do that? This guy is a horrible doctor. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. You're not even paying attention. You're just trying dick butts. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. The uh, more enlightening you'll find this experience. Rat. Uh, doesn't help that I have to hold the thing down so long. Come on, let's go. Go with the guts. Keep going. What the fact that he's wearing gloves? I don't know the significance of that. Sticking with the scarecrows. Zombies aren't real. Well, at this point. Sticking with the gore. That's not a dog. That's a wolf, first of all. Let's be straight about that. Okay, we're trying to get off the gore thing, I see. I bet you these pictures have to change every time. This is very interesting. Okay, why is it interesting? Thank you for answering so... Oh, so now you think I'm telling you the truth. Okay, good. Stop licking your lips like that. Rats. Scarecrows. An awful. Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. You are disturbing, sir. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What? Are we out of time already? Oh, no, what a surprise. Once again, we're out of time. A whole time. five minutes with you, and I'm already psychotic. Yeah, go stare out your window. It's okay, not a big deal. These sessions, man, I don't think these sessions are doing anything for me. I'm still feeling pretty sick. Oh my god. 